family. What's up? I know you've been out there shining, right? I didn't hear you. I know you've been out there shining, right? <laughs> I know you've been like digging down into your pockets, down into your clothes, down into yourself, trying to figure out if you pulled out all that real you yet so you could bring it out on Front Street, put it out there in front of everybody and show it off. I know you've been doing that, right? You better be. That's the point. That's the point of living. That's why you are here. There's something about you that's supposed to shine, shine, shine. And there's people out there that you're going to help in that process. Do you understand that? It's not just for you. You can't just hoard all that wonderful, beautifulness that you are. You don't want to hoard it all. You want to actually show it off, put it off too. Don't just keep it pushed away thinking, no, nobody's going to like that. It's embarrassing anyways. Come on. You know that's not the truth. You love it, don't you? Why is your mind telling you, yeah, I do, but what if people think it's stupid? Come on. You know we're all human. You know what we do on this planet. We can't help but visually see things and be like, man, that's awesome. We can't help but feel things and feel like that's just awesome. Hear things, smell things, taste things. As humans, we just think this stuff on this planet is awesome. What makes you literally think that you do something that's so strange that there's nobody else out there that's going to like it? Have you ever thought about it like that? <laughs> the chances of that are... I don't even know, is literally ridiculous. Everything inside of you, there's somebody out there that's going to love it. And more than a million percent chance, there's going to be tons of people out there that really, really, really love it. It's not going to just be this one person that lives way over in Anchorage, Alaska that you're never going to meet for some reason. Shout out to any of my followers that live in Anchorage. If you do, there's somebody all the way over in Florida that you're thinking, that's only one person way out there that's going to like this. No. There's people all around, everywhere. So most likely, people in your own neighborhood, literally in walking distance from you, that think what you do is awesome. But you haven't shown nobody yet. So that's what I'm saying. Look around in your pockets. Make sure, have you checked that little small pocket, the one in the front? You know, it's your regular pocket, but then the little small one in there. Have you looked in that one yet? I hope so. Make sure it's all pulled out. No need to be embarrassed about it anymore. That's what we're all being called to. I'm trying to make that so clear. But anyway, now that I talked about that enough, I wanted to talk about anybody out there. I know you watching, you got goals in your life, or at least you want to. You got something in your life you want to have, you want to create, you want to do. Have you made it known to yourself that that is a goal? This is so very important. Because you know the difference between people that are so, so powerful, created things into this life that we look up to and we use every day, computers and great foods and services that we all use. These people, they all held goals. The person that just sit around every day and didn't get much done, they sit around and didn't get much done because they didn't have a finite goal in mind. Yeah, every day, day to day, they might have had something. They were like, yeah, I'd like to do that. Or maybe it was just as simple as, on Friday, I'm going to go and get this slice of pizza that I want because it's just my favorite thing. I've been looking forward to it. That's great. That's a goal. But you need to create some goal that's like you... You hit it out the park with this goal. 
like a home run goal, something crazy, one that you almost do not believe that you can achieve. That's what the, that's what the greats say, that you want to create a goal that scares you and makes you think, I don't even know if I can achieve this. That's the goal. That is the difference between the regular everyday person that's just living, 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 and the powerful people that create things into this life that cause a ruckus and make everybody around them feel like, what, how'd they do that? These people, these powerful people, they had goals. So I know you've got a goal. You've got a dream life, something you've been wanting to pull into this life, something you've been wanting to create that you're going to one day. Law of assumption. You've already done it. You've already done it. The law of assumption. You assume that it's already done. So what I wanted to talk about today is each and every one of you with this goal, with these goals in mind, I want you to create a vision board, like a mood board, you know? And if you have to, if you can't get a piece of cardboard or a cork board or something, like you can't find one like a dollar store or somewhere really cheap or something, it doesn't have to be huge. You can just have whatever size you can get. If you can't do all this, use your phone. We can easily get on Instagram. You can screenshot any picture you need all over the internet. Get on Instagram. Instagram lets you piece everything together. You can drag in a bunch of different photos. Go to the story, like you're going to post a story, make a, put your first picture down. You can shrink it, make it small, add more photos. Keep doing it. Fill the thing up. And then save that and make that your background. Like I said, powerful people, they have goals. Very powerful people create these same vision boards. I know we might have in our mind, like we've seen Kanye and him talk about mood boards and stuff. That's one way to do it. You will take, in a way, your future moods and create this. And you can, and you can create it in the same way, like a mood board, and just make things that just look really pretty to you. But I want you to focus on the things that you want in this life. You want to create. Or you want to have. Create into the world. Maybe it's going to be your new chiseled body after you've worked out for so long. Get a picture of that body type you like. Take a picture of your face. Cut it out. Put it on top of that body. It's already done, remember? Law of assumption. Take your, your car that you're going to have. That dream house that you're going to have. That you already have. Law of assumption. YouTube plaques or a bank account with the digits in it. Whatever that you want in this life, you make that your vision board. And in the same way, we pick up our phone every day. What do we do when we're just bored, you know? I'm going to just click this, just turn it on, just look at it. You never know. Somebody might have texted me. You're going to see that vision. Every day, it's going to be slapping you in the face. Right there. This is what we want. We want it to constantly remind us because sometimes we can hold the goals within our mind, and that's wonderful. But we need to have these things visually slapping us in the face as much as possible because the mind can get chaotic. We could easily let some thought fly over there and kind of forget about it for a good long time, right? To have this visually in front of us, and if you can get the if you can get a board, an actual cork board or whatever, and be able to print papers out, cut out magazine cutouts, place it wherever you are the most of your day. Bring it with you, maybe put it in your car, whatever. <laughs> Make sure it's with you, so it's slapping you in the face, like I'm saying. <laughs> Visually, we're going to be programming our mind. Seeing this every day, being able to look at it, being so thankful for it, praying to it. 
This is your roadmap, your guiding light. The vision board is so important. We've heard, like I said, we've heard many powerful people. I know Tony Robbins, for instance, he just comes up to the top of my mind. I've seen a video of him talking about him and looking at his mood board and knowing that one day he looked back at it and said, wait a second, this is the literal house that I am living in. It's, it was on my mood board. This is how it's going to be for you, family. You're going to look back and see this is literally what I was manifesting, what I was, what I knew I was going to have. If you don't have a person around you reinforcing this feeling that you got this, you got this. Many of us don't, and that's fine. You don't need it because you're your most strongest power. God allowing you to be your most strongest power. You take care of yourself by making sure that you get a mood board. I got mine right here. My phone, like I said, if you make one on your phone, make it your background. So every time you open it up, mine says, I help people grow. I know, I know so many of us, we got like our our family members, our loved ones, our pet, our pets, our animals, they can wait. They can wait just a little bit. Put this on there. They're going to be so thankful one day when you start to create the things that you want to create. You can put them back later on. You can put them back on your phone later. I promise you they'll be so thankful and so happy that you chose to take it upon yourself and make the background your vision board instead. <laughs> I promise. Family, this is so important. We need this in our life. This reinforcement. Imagine having, imagine if you just, you're a, a working out machine and you felt like you just hit like a dead spell for a while. Imagine if you click your phone and you got Joe Rogan on it like, you need to be working out. Why aren't you working out? What is that going to do to you? It's at least going to make your mind think a little bit about this. Like, man, I really should be doing this. It's going to make you feel some type of way, right? <laughs> this is how it's going to treat you, family. You're going to see your goals right there in front of you. It's going to be the reminder you need every day that you've already done this. You already got it. Continue to live as if you are that already. Law of assumption. I'm not going to stop talking about it. If y'all don't know what that is, the law of assumption is to assume that it is already done. We live in that tense because it programs our subconscious mind to know that it is already done. It's hard for our subconscious mind to just program off of simple ideas when it's not going to exactly just heavily believe you right away. You can't just say one time, yeah, this is it. That's it. You got to have emotion behind it, a feeling. It's got to know. You've got to let it be born into the subconscious that this is it. So when you live that every day, you live like it's already done. You got this. It doesn't know no better. It doesn't care if it's a lie or it's the truth. It doesn't know any better. It just takes it for what it is. And then it starts to help you with this system that I spoke about in another video, the RAS. It starts to help you line up circumstances in your outside reality that will help you in attaining that situation, that goal. This is what we have to do. I know y'all out there. I know y'all got goals. And it's enough letting them just float around in the mind. We're not getting much done that way. It's kind of tough. We got enough floating around in there. Schedules and birthdays and all kinds of stuff that we just have to remember sometimes. Just this year, I'm starting to plan more and put more in my phone just to like help me out so I can just like take some of the load off my mind. But family, we want those visuals in front of us every day so we can recognize exactly what we're working towards. And it's going to be that reminder. It's going to be that Joe Rogan telling you, this is what you're supposed to be doing right now. Don't forget it. 
every time you see that, you want to take a little bit of step towards that. And if not, it's going to hold you accountable till later on. You're going to be like, man, I really should go ahead and do that now. I thought about it all day long. I've seen it all day long. This is what you want to do, family. We can help it visually program into our subconscious in the same way of us speaking it out loud, in the same way of us just writing it down, the 369 method like I talk about. Repetition, constantly seeing it, knowing it, knowing it's something that we want. We're not going to let ourselves forget it. I'm not going to let y'all forget it. So family, I just want to stop by here today just for a quick second to bring this to you from my heart to yours. Make a vision board and make sure that you get it hung up on the closest place around you that you're at all day long. This is another thing. If you cut out a picture, hang it up on your ceiling. First thing in the morning when you wake up, boom, you see it first thing. It's right there. I need to do something like that in my room because I, I wake up every morning and I look at the same ugly light on my ceiling and I start thanking God because I'm like, well, I'm awake. I see the light again. <laughs> I need to put I need to put a picture up on my ceiling so I'm looking at the thing that's worth looking at. These are the types of things that powerful people do, whether it sounds silly or not. This is what you do to hold yourself accountable every step of the way. I'll keep bringing you ideas along the way to keep you accountable. This is the kind of stuff that we're going to do, family, that you do to make sure that you achieve the things that you want in this life. I know you got it in you. And this is just one little thing that can help keep it, keep it fun and keep the reminder going. Put everything you can think of on there. Everything. Cars and clothes and styles and fashion. All these different things. Foods and anything you can think that you want in your life. That's a part of this dream. Make it amazing looking, family. I know it looks cool within your mind. You see the visions. So go out there. Figure out any way you can. It'll help a lot if you could print the stuff out, and put it on boards. But like I said, we can do the same thing on our phone. <clears throat> and it's kind of more worth it because we have our phone everywhere we go. Every second you click that button, you see the background right there. This is what we need to be doing, family. So like I said, I just want to stop by for a quick second, family. My name is Macaulay Sage. If you're new here, much love and blessings to every single one of y'all. Check this out one time before we go. Frog God say what's up. Peace and hair grease and much love as well. And family, I hope y'all have such a wonderful rest of your day, whatever time it is. If you get a chance, go out there today, get this started, make that vision board, make it happen, family. So I'll be back very soon. Much love. Peace.